Hey everybody and welcome back. So, the moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. <laughs> my review and my opinion on the Samsung Smart Tag 2 tracker versus the Pebble B tracker that uses the Google Find My device network. Is the Samsung really the best Android tracker? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the similarities between the devices, the differences between the devices. I'm gonna show you how they performed in a real world travel scenario when I went on my vacation last week. And I'm also at the end of this video gonna talk about another device that has recently come out that might actually be better than both of these. I don't know, jury's still out, but stick around because we're gonna find out. So first off, similarities are really not a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, yes, they're both GPS trackers. Uh, they're supposed to be able to track your devices or your you know, luggage or whatever it is you're using them on based on other devices that are around it. But they really are totally different in how they go about it. And let me explain. So the Samsung SmartTag 2 tracker is Bluetooth, GPS, ultra wideband capable. The Pebblebee does not have ultra wideband. The Samsung SmartTag 2 tracker is only compatible with Samsung devices. You can't use it on any other Android device. However, the Pebblebee, you can use on any Android device, including Samsung. They don't have a specific type of device they work on. It has to be Android, and that's the main thing. So let's talk about the Galaxy Smart Tag 2 first. And, you know, it's easy to pair with your phone. I have a Galaxy S23 Ultra. It paired seamlessly. I have four of them that I used on my luggage. And by the way, those little luggage tags that I showed you in the first video, those things work great. They didn't have any issues. They didn't interfere with the tracking of the device. They're sturdy through all the banging and slapping around luggage goes through in the hull of an airplane. They didn't crack or get damaged or come off the luggage. So I can absolutely 100% recommend those luggage tags. Really, you can use it on anything, not just luggage, but they work perfectly for luggage. And it's actually, you put the tracker inside of the this hard shell case so it protects it. And it just worked phenomenal. So I'm going to link that in the description. You go check those out. Those work phenomenal. Again, you can put them on your backpack. You can put them on your suitcase. You can put them in your briefcase, purse, dog, the children's backpacks, whatever. Tons of uses. But the Samsung has proven to me to be a fantastic device. Again, easy to set up, easy to use. And... As you'll see in some of the videos and pictures that I took, well, screenshots really, that I took during my travel, the Samsung device outperformed the Pebble B hands down, bar none, 10 times better. And I can honestly say, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the Samsung Smart Tag 2 tracker is the best Android tracking device on the market. Now, yes, you have to have a Samsung device, but there's lots of them out there. If you don't have a Samsung phone, maybe you ought to consider buying one. <laughs> I'll link that too in the description. But you can still use the Pebblebee. And again, at the end, I'm going to tell you about one product in particular, but there's two products really that are out that you can use in addition to the Pebblebee. Uh, if you don't want to use that, because I can tell you, honestly, I was not impressed with the Pebble B at all. Uh, it just did not perform well. It did not track well. It wouldn't update the luggage location correctly. There was times I was like very close to it and it showed it to be miles away. You know, at one point when we landed in Barbados, all of my trackers were tracking correctly right where I was sitting, my phone, my watch. All of my Smart Tag 2 trackers, everything was tracking correctly. The Pebble B tracker showed to be about 300 miles 
It's still in the ocean. So it took like 15 minutes, 20 minutes for it to update. And then it still was not correct as to where the location was. <laughs> now, keep this in mind. I had the Pebble Bee and my original Samsung tracker on the same ring in the luggage. So they were like literally attached to each other. The original smart tag tracker from Samsung was tracking correctly, albeit it wasn't as accurate and pinpoint specific as the ultra wideband on the smart tag two, but even it outperformed the Pebblebee device. And so I just, I really honestly can't recommend Pebblebee in, in the maps. And you'll see in the pictures the mapping that Samsung does is phenomenal. And it's, you know, like in the airport, you can zoom in to where you're at and you'd be able to really pinpoint exactly where your device is at. And it pinged off so many different devices. It updated its location pretty regular and it was great. Matter of fact, when I was in the aircraft, my luggage is in the hull of the aircraft. My phone picked up its signal where I was sitting. So my phone is what was actually connected to the tracker. That's how good it is. So I just, you know, I can't recommend the Pebble B. I can 100% recommend the Galaxy Smart Tag 2 tracker. That's a long name. It just performed without failure. And even if you don't use those little like luggage tags, let's just say you put it in the luggage, it's going to work great. Because even, even my original one was in the luggage and it tracked no problem. But I actually thought before I started this you know, whole journey last week that this video after the fact might be a little bit longer because I had some really you know, crazy stuff to show you and you know, they were performing you know, back and forth. One was better than the other here and there, but it's not. There's just really not much to say, honestly. Uh, the Samsung device blew the Pebble device out of the water literally. And I think Google has a long way to go to get their network even close to being on par with what Samsung and Apple have. I think both of those are knocking it out of the park as far as the tracker side of things. And I can tell you with this kind of stuff in mind, I mean, you know, the new Pixel 9 is out, the, their Google's new phone, and it's a fantastic device. But in light of how well all these other components work with Samsung's network and devices. I don't know that I'll ever go back, honestly. They just have done a fantastic job with their entire ecosystem, with their devices communicating with each other, how well they're tracked. I mean, it's just hands down 100% better. Google's really missed a boat here, in my opinion, and now they're playing catch up. And to me, I think they put out a product, not necessarily the Pebble because that's not their product, but their network is their product. The find my device network is their product. And I think they put that out into the public sooner than what it needed to be, but because they're playing catch up, they had to get it out. They didn't have a choice, but now they're, they're behind. And I just, I really don't understand it to be honest with you. They had a long time to figure this out. Apple's had trackers for a long time. The Samsung smart tag the original has been out for a long time. So it's not like this is just some kind of new invention <laughs> that they're you know, having to create. It's been out for a while. They just missed the boat. They did not plan correctly, in my opinion. With that being said, again, all these things are going to be linked in the description. If this content is helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up because that tells the old YouTube algorithm that you're in, enjoying this content. So I would really appreciate that. But to mention the other device that I was referring to in the beginning of this video is the Motorola tracker. Now the Motorola tracker, as you can see here is similar in size and form as the Apple tracker. And unlike the Samsung where the Samsung has an actual hole in it that you can attach something to the Motorola device does not, you actually have to use some form of accessory that you put it in. If you want to hang it on your keychain, or you want to attach it to your luggage, you have to use some form of third party accessory to do that, which I mean, I guess it's okay. But to me, 
I like having the ability of attaching my tracker without having another device to put it in or on. Again, that's just my preference, but it doesn't mean it doesn't perform well. I was actually going to buy one prior to going on vacation because supposedly they were available, but I guess they sold out because I couldn't find them anywhere. And this is the same price point. It's like 30 bucks. So I think as soon as I can get my hands on one, I'm probably going to grab one just so I can test it. Because here's the key thing about the, the excuse me, about the Motorola device is that as does the Samsung, it has ultra wideband. It's the only device that I'm aware of right now that supports the Google Find My Device network and has ultra wideband. Because, you know, all the new Pixel devices have ultra wideband. So they can use that communication to be able to communicate and track the trackers. So once I get my hands on that other uh, Motorola device, then I will actually do an update video and you know, let you know how it performs. I'm actually going to Europe next month with my son. So if I can get one before I leave, I'll be able to take my Samsung Smart Tag 2, the original Samsung Smart Tag, the Pebble device and the Motorola device and kind of see how all of them, you know, track and how accurate they are compared to each other. Again, I already know the Pebble B though, unless Google does some kind of miraculous update to their network and how things communicate, I still don't think it's going to be on par with anything. And to be honest with you, if I had bought the Pebble B and I didn't have any of those other trackers, I would be so disappointed with it that I would return it. I mean, I am disappointed with it, but I'm going to keep it because I'm going to continue to test it and you know hopefully google will get their network functioning better where it can track better but i mean there were times where i was literally right at the device i'm sitting with my luggage and it's showing my luggage somewhere else and the other day when i got home i checked it here in my office i had it sitting on my desk and it literally showed my tracker to be like five minutes down the road just like random location. I but it was literally sitting right here next to me. So I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. I've I reset it, I repaired it just to make sure there was not any kind of thing, you know, quirky going on there. And it's the same result. I also removed it from the Google Find My Device network and put it into the Pebbleby network. So I thought, well, maybe the Pebbleby network will have a better means of tracking because other Pebbleby devices, I suppose. No. It was just as bad. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's just so frustrating, you know, when you're trying to understand or, you know, you know, some people don't, they just look at like what the commercials and people, you know, the companies put out, make it sound like this fantastic thing. And, and to me, it's just not, I just think it's not ready, but hopefully I can get to test the Motorola device. There's another device too, that maybe I'll pick up. I don't know, is the Chipolo. It's another device for the Google Find My network, but it does not have ultra wideband. And I don't know if I'm going to pick one up or not. Now, Chipolo has their own like closed ecosystem as well, as far as it's tracking. So maybe that works better than what the Google's does. I don't know. Maybe I'll get one. Who knows? I'll take 15 trackers with me to Europe. But it's a good test because, I mean, it really was a nice way for me to be able to test all these in a real world environment, not just, hey, take this somewhere and go hide it for me. I wanted to see exactly how well it performs in what I want to use it for, and that is travel. So Samsung, 100%. I definitely recommend it. Go get you one two, four, however many you want, <laughs> linked in the description. Uh, they are affiliate links, so I appreciate it. If you do buy from those links, I will get a small commission from Amazon. It's not much, but I do appreciate it because it helps the channel. But they are definitely worth it. I would highly recommend it. And even if you don't do any traveling, it doesn't matter. You know, you can track your suitcase, your purse, your wallet, your children's backpacks, that's probably a huge one. And if I had kids still going to school, I would 100% put one of these in every single one of their backpacks. So it can be huge. So when I get back from Europe, 
I will have another update video. So hopefully I can test that Motorola device and uh, we'll see kind of how it all works together. But yeah, the uh, Pebble B was a huge disappointment. The Samsung performed as I was hoping, 100% flawlessly, ultra wide band tracked, very precise location. It was great. So I will uh, keep you posted as to when I get back. So again, if you like this video, give the old thumbs up and you'll definitely want to go watch this video here, which kind of goes over those Samsung smart tag trackers uh, when I first got them, the unboxing and kind of show you how they all work. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.